This is Farah with Talk at All Sports Asia, and I'm with Jasmine Jafar. Hi, Jasmine. Hello, Farah. What are you doing here back in KL? Well, we're here um, for this Petronas demo event with Taxi Rides. Um, I'll be driving the CLE 45, and I think uh, we, might, we might be having some fun. You think so? Well, I mean, it's a big difference from driving a race car to driving this car. What's the difference? Well, a race car has a whole lot of power and a whole lot of downforce. Um, but I think I'm, I'm driving a CLE 45, which is pretty quick, uh, but it won't be as, as fast as a race car. But we'll, uh, I'll, give it a, I'll give it quite a push, I think. <laughs> okay, we're talking about racing, because that's after all what you do. Since we last spoke to you, a lot of changes since we caught up. Yeah, I signed with a team uh, called Fortec Motorsports, and I'm staying in another year of, of Renault World Series. Uh, alongside that, uh, we're planning to do more Formula One testing. We're in talks with a few Formula One teams, so hopefully we can pull a, a strong deal together. And another season in the World Series. What do you think? I think we're going to be strong this year. Uh, the target will be a top five finish. Um, we have to fight for the best because uh, I really want to graduate to Formula One and, and we're not far off from it. And so far the testing has been positive? Yep, we, uh, we ended up uh, third and fifth in the last uh, two days of testing in, in Spain. Uh, we've got one more left coming up uh, in a couple of weeks and then we got the first race in Spain as well. So I'm, I'm all pumped, ready to go. Well, we wish you all the best for that. And on top of World Series, there's also talk of you doing other races. Yeah, well, it's not confirmed yet, but um, uh, I think it will be uh, endurance racing. Um, I did one last year, which was a Spa 24 Hours with, uh, uh, with the AMG factory team HTP, and it was an amazing experience. Um, my first 24 hours, we came, we came home in fifth. Um, and there was nothing like it. I, I hope to be doing again to gain more experience. Well, the 24-hour races and well, all the endurance races are pretty, pretty spectacular because it's almost like driving a race car but over a prolonged period. So, does the preparation differ? Yeah, you, uh, it's more of uh, time management. Um, when you sleep, when you eat, what you eat. Uh, for me, because it's so buzzing, the adrenaline is buzzing the whole time. So in 30 hours, I probably slept three and a half in 24 hours. So you're, you're knackered after the race, but during the race when, when your teammates are driving and when you're next, you, you're just pumped, you know, you just want to get in and drive and improve or whatever. And it's an amazing experience and I hope to be doing it again. Well, it's, it sounds like it's an interesting, definitely interesting. But when you have to change cars all the time, when you're doing endurance racing and you go to formula racing, does it also change the driving style? Yeah, definitely. I mean, GTs, uh, they're a lot slower, a lot less downforce, you know, and also a lot heavier. So the driving style differs a bit, but uh, you, still, you still have to push hard and, and get the, m the maximum out of the car. So I think me and my teammates, we did the best uh, out of what we could have with the SLS. Um, we finished fifth. I think qualifying could have been better. Uh, but it, it was all a matter of learning, so so I think it was a strong finish. And a good learning curve to do another endurance race this year. Yeah, why not? Why not? Well, World Series, let's, talk, let's go back to World Series. I mean, the competition in World Series is always proven to be quite tough with some of the best drivers graduating up to Formula 1. What are your expectations for the World Series? I mean, it's, it's a very strong feeder series at the moment. I mean... We have Kevin Magnussen who came in from there, Carlos Sainz Jr., Algas Suarez, even Vettel came from, from Renault World Series. So I, I think it's a, a very good platform uh, for drivers like, like myself uh, to learn. You know, we, we're so competitive. Uh, you know, we have pit stops, there's so much going on. We've got DRS, um, and there's a lot of young guys like me who, who wants to win, you know. So I think it's the best championship out there, and, and I'm. I'm thankful to Petronas for giving me the opportunity to, to, to race in this, in this prestigious championship. And it's a great, let's say, foot in the door towards Formula 1. But you mentioned some of the drivers that have graduated from World Series to go to Formula 1, specifically some of the rookie drivers this year in Formula 1. How do you think they fared in Australia? Well, they, they scored points and scoring points in Formula 1 is not easy. And that's the level of Renault World Series. Uh, you know, it, it trains the teams are so professional and it trains drivers in such a way that um, 
uh, that you know you 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 get ready for Formula One. So I think it's the best uh, platform for us to 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 get there. And we are in Malaysia for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Your predictions for the race weekend? Uh, a Mercedes one two, and I would say maybe maybe Vettel third. Well, we've got lots more to talk to you about, but we'll be talking to Jasmine through the season over the phone, over Skype. So keep it here on Talk at All Sports Asia. This is Farah signing off, and this is Jasmine Jaffa. Thank you. So, Jasmine, say something for the camera. This is Jasmine Jaffa at All Sports Asia. Jasmine Jaffa, and you're watching All Sports Asia.